We all have comic book movies we just adore. Those that remind us of why we love superheroes in capes and vigilantes fighting crime. There is no film that's safe from a cheesy line, a bad visual effect, or a really weird plot thread. In this video, we will be diving in to the worst moments in your favorite comic book movie. Now, if you're offended by any of the choices on this list, I am not calling any of these movies bad. I'm not saying any of these moments really ruin the movie, but we all look at these moments and go, oh yeah, that one. You can't forget that one. So enough of this intro, let's dive into the very worst moments in all of our favorite comic book movies. Number five, the visual effects in Black Panther's final act. This is a complaint many people are tired of, and I get it. I personally don't think the visual effects of Black Panther ruin the film, but it's not pretty by any means. From the odd-looking CGI rhinos to the laughable PlayStation 2 graphics of the final fight, the entire look of the film's ending is incredibly distracting. The Marvel Cinematic Universe is known for some great visual effects, with the work that they made on Thanos being a real highlight in the industry, but every now and then, they really slip up with some goofy looking moments like this. The final act of Black Panther is so jarringly different to the first two thirds of the movie, with those grounded visuals in the beginning, to the overall cartoony feel of the finale, this is a real aesthetic change, and it doesn't improve the film in a good way, and that's why it has a low spot on our top worst moments in your favorite comic book movies. Number four, what happens to a toad when it's struck by lightning? X-Men. The original Fox X-Men movies were truly lightning in a bottle, capturing something so magical and nearly impossible to recreate. Speaking of lightning, we have one of the worst lines in all of comic book movie history. Do you know what happens to a toad when it's struck by lightning? The same thing that happens to everything else. Delivered by a future Academy Award winner and originally written as a throwaway line by Josh Whedon, this one stinks so bad. I think all comic book movie fans, especially ones from the early era like the 90s and 2000s, are used to some of these very cheesy lines. Even Spider-Man from a few years later has a couple clunkers, but none come as close to hearing Storm deliver one of the worst lines in movie history. Number three, Martha, Batman v Superman. Going from one sentence to one word, who knew calling out for your mother could cause such an uproar? Now, Batman v Superman appearing on this list is going to confuse a lot of people as there is a large number of folks who consider this nowhere near their favorites. But even the most diehard Zack Snyder fan, it's hard for us to justify this moment. Batman v Superman did a lot to shake up the way we look at our favorite DC characters, showing us a more dark and complicated versions than we previously expected. I think many fans can deal with some of the changes there, but then when you go to why did you say that name, ooh, you lose a lot of the good faith that you built up throughout the film. Number two, the various lackluster villains in the MCU. Examples, Ultron, Ronan, and whoever the bad guy was in Doctor Strange. This is going to be a strange pick on this list for many viewers, but there are so many good Marvel Studios films that are hindered by the lack of a good villain. Even some of your most favorite MCU movies have some of the worst villains of all time. Let's go to Ronan from Guardians of the Galaxy, Ultron from Age of Ultron, and Helmet Zemo from Civil War as an example. Ronan from Guardians of the Galaxy is a mini boss pretending to be the big final boss battle. He didn't command the screen or the story like he needed to for that film. On the other hand, Ultron has a great voice actor and does have some cool moments, but he didn't carry the weight you would expect from such an iconic villain. He ended up being less scary and more sad, which is not what you want from Ultron. And boy, did Civil War feel completely misguided by having no real villain. Thankfully, Zemo is getting a second chance on the Disney Plus show Falcon and Winter Soldier, but his first outing was outshined by the drama that he all started. He's more of an instigator than a real villain. Number one. Everything About the Dark Knight Rises. This is going to be a tough one for me as I personally don't hate this movie, but when discussing comic book movies with fans and even the Dark Knight trilogy in particular, this is a sore spot for a lot of folks. And for many fans, they can't really pinpoint one exact moment that ruins the Dark Knight Rises, but there's those little moments that pile on through the film's 
overlong runtime. With the lack of cohesion to the previous injuries, many fans felt that this didn't come anywhere near the heights that this franchise had already done before. Even going down to a technical level of the film, the edit of The Dark Knight Rises is very confusing. Some of the fight scenes are laughably bad, and we spend way more time with a battered and broken Bruce than we do with our Cape Crusader Batman. This is not the way you want to end a franchise that many consider to be the best superhero movies of all time. With this film in the thing, it makes it a little harder to argue that this is the best comic book movie trilogy. What did you guys think of this list? Did your least favorite moment in your favorite comic book movie appear on this list? Let us know down in the comments below. I want to know your least favorite moment in your favorite comic book movie. Share your thoughts down below. Make sure you subscribe to Flickering Myth because we make videos like this every single week and give us a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video. All right, everyone, comment down below and let's talk about comic book movies.